In this video exercise, we'll demonstrate how to use phase to create a pharmacophore hypothesis from a single 3D ligand in the workspace. We'll use the example in the phase tutorial. So let's begin. We'll start by importing the ligand, which in this case is the file 3EL8 underscore prepped underscore lig. Next, we'll open the phase develop pharmacophore workflow by going to tasks, browse, ligand based virtual screening, and then develop pharmacophore hypothesis. Next, with our ligand in the workspace, we'll change create pharmacophore model using to single ligand workspace, and notice that the panel has now adapted to the single ligand workflow. Now here, all possible pharmacophore features are displayed on the 3D ligand, so all we have to do is simply choose which of the features we desire in the final hypothesis. To do that, we can pick the features in the workspace, as instructed by the notification banner and the pick feature in workspace checkbox, Notice you can also pick features by selecting their corresponding checkbox in the grid. Now, there's also an option here to add a feature manually. So for example, let's say we wanted to add a donor feature where this hydrogen would be. We first enable the checkbox, change the feature to donor, then pick the atom to define the location in the workspace. And since this donor has a vector orientation, we'll need to adjust it. So right click on the donor, enable manually reposition feature, then use the mouse to rotate or translate the feature so it's pointing in the desired location. Now that we've selected the features, we can click create, but before we do that, there are some other optional hypothesis settings we can set. Here we can adjust the tolerance radii of each type of feature, as well as employ custom features or access advanced feature editing capabilities. And over here, we can create an excluded volume shell around the ligand as a means to have a pseudoreceptor. So let's create one and using the default sizing. We'll click save, rename the hypothesis and click create. We'll close down the panel and reveal the created hypothesis in the workspace. Now it might be a little bit hard to see the features inside the excluded volume shell. So we can go to the blue hypothesis H button on the entry to hide the excluded volumes. The hypothesis is now ready to be used for screening. Stay tuned for more videos on pharmacophore modeling, such as creating a hypothesis from a protein ligand complex or a set of multiple ligands, as well as how to edit an existing hypothesis and how to use a hypothesis or multiple hypotheses to screen a database.